Carl, we're live. Thank you. I'm just waiting on the backup recordings. Backup is running. The backup is running. Turn four. And a welcome to Rabbi Sharon. Cloud recording good. Happy Hello, everybody. Happy to be here. Hello, and welcome to today's charter meeting. Madam Majority Leader. Good afternoon and welcome to the charter meeting of January 6, 2021. I am Majority Leader Lori Cumbo and I'd like to thank you all for joining us at this virtual meeting of the New York City Council. If you would like to follow along, the agenda for today's meeting is posted on our website. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Adams. Happy New Year. Welcome, new colleague, Councilmember Riley, and I'm present. Thank you. Amprey Samuel. Happy New Year, all. Welcome, Councilmember Riley, and I am here. Ayala. Present. Barron. Blessed, present, grateful. Thank you. I'm present. Thank you. Morelli. Present. Thank you. Brandon. Present. Congrats, Kev. Welcome. Cabrera. Congratulations to Councilmember Riley and present. Chin. Happy and healthy new year and welcome to our new colleague. I'm present. Constantinides. Present. Cornegie. Uh, present and um, welcome to our new council member. And because we are a new council, we are foregoing the pledge process that usually happens for, for new initiants. Uh, you, you're, you're lucky. <laughs> Deutsch. Here. Council member Dharma Diaz. Council member Ruben Diaz. Presente, felicidades. Drum. Present. Eugene. Present. Gibson. Eugene is here. Thank you. I'm here. Thank you. Okay. Blessed New Year to everyone. Happy Three Kings Day and welcome to the council and the Bronx delegation. Council member Kevin Riley, I am here. Jonai. Happy New Year to all. Congratulations to Councilman Riley from the great borough of the Bronx, present. Redenshik. Uh, shalom Aleichem to everybody. Aleichem Salam. Uh, and a happy and a healthy new year, and I am definitely here. And welcome, Council Member Riley. Holden. Here. Palos. Shana Tova, and welcome, Council Member Riley. Here. Ku. Present, and welcome, Council Member Riley, and welcome, uh, welcome him to our past committee. Thank you. Kozlowitz. Here, happy new year and welcome to our new council member. Lander. I'm present and feeling extra grateful uh, this morning. Happy new year and welcome to our new colleague. Levin. Uh, happy new year, everybody. Uh, welcome council member Riley and present. Levine. Well, happy new year, everybody, especially council member Riley and I am present. Lewis. Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome, Councilmember Riley, and I am present. Mizell. Here. Menchaca. A big thank you to Georgia. Presente. Miller. Assalamu alaikum. 
Happy New Year. Welcome to the body, uh, Council Member Riley. Thank you. Moya. Present. Perkins. Luis Año Nuevo, presente. Powers. Well, welcome our colleague, Councilmember Kevin Riley, and Happy New Year, and I am present. Reynoso. Riley. Present and happy new year to my new colleagues. Looking forward to working and meeting with you all. Thank you. Rivera. Happy new year, everyone. Welcome council member Riley, present. Rodriguez. Rose. Greetings from Shaolin and welcome council member Riley. Uh, thank you for adding another R to the, the roll call and um, I am present. Thank you, Rosenthal. Uh, here and uh, welcome council member Riley. We are so lucky to have you and welcome to the team. Um, we're all really lucky. This is going to be a great uh, council year. I just know it. Thank you. Salamanca. Uh, yes, first I want to wish everyone a happy Three Kings Day and a happy new year uh, and present. Prager. I'm used to following my dear friend Richie Torres, but he is now doing great things in Congress. Um, very happy, healthy new year to all my colleagues and all the, all the amazing council family. Happy Three Kings Day. Congratulations to Council Member Riley. Welcome. And I, I am present. Thank you. Thank you. Ulrich. I am present and on time, turning over newly for the new year. Happy new year and God bless. Balone. Present. Happy blessed new year, everyone. Welcome council member Riley. Thank you for putting me further down on the roll call list. Just keep going further down, further down, another R. So God bless everyone and look forward to today's meeting. Thank you. Van Bramer. Here. Jaeger. Congratulations, uh, Councilman Riley. Look forward to working with you. And you're lucky that Rob Cornegy went easy on you on the initiation. I am present and very lucky to be part of this body and everybody here. Thank you. Matteo. I'm here. Combo. Battered and bruised and stronger for it. I'm so blessed to have all of you here today. Happy New Year. So happy to work with Council Member Riley and welcome and present. Thank you. Speaker Johnson. Clerk, uh, I just this council member Reynoso present. Thank you, council member. Anietzo Rodriguez. Thank you, council member. <laughs> Speaker Johnson. I'm here. Thank you. Madam Majority Leader, we have a quorum. Thank you so much. And we will now have today's invocation, which will be delivered by Rabbi Sharon Kleinbaum, Senior Rabbi and Spiritual Leader at Congregation Beit Simchat Torah, located at 130 West 30th Street in Manhattan. Welcome, and we are so happy to have you here today. Thank you so much for having me here, Majority Leader, and to the speaker and to all the members of the City Council. Thank you for the work you do on you do every day on behalf of all of us New Yorkers. Psalm 30 famously says, Hafachta mispidi lemacholi, pitachta saki, you have turned my mourning into dancing. You have loosened my sackcloth and supported with me with joy, in order that my soul may sing to you. 
who could have thought last year at this time that a year later we would have gone through the year we did here in New York City, in our country and in our world. There have been so many tears. There have been so many losses. But it's our belief that joy comes in the morning that keeps us going. And we pray today as we open this new year of 2021 in the New York City Council. We pray that all of you who represent the good and diverse and beautiful people of New York will be blessed. We pray that each of you and your families will be blessed. We pray that your staffs and their families will be blessed. We pray that you will be blessed with resilience, with patience, with humor, with comfort, and with strength. We pray that you will be able to, at moments of great despair, reach out to one another and to those in your life and to whatever power of God you believe in to give you strength. Because we, the people of New York, need you. We need you to not give up or to give in or to never forget that each of us as we have been put on this earth by our maker, whatever form we believe that to be, that we, each of us, has the responsibility to be the reason that other human beings believe in the goodness of humanity. Each of us, we pray to be a force for the good, and you who represent so many, look to you to be our leaders, to represent our understanding that government by and for the people is a good thing. That good government done with great transparency and with health and with intention and with love can improve the lives of every one of your, rep your citizens. Please, God, be with these, our representatives, as they struggle with their own lives and difficulties in this moment of covid economic insecurity, plagues of racism, and of disease of the mind and the body and the soul. Please, God, surround them with your sukkah, with your canopy of peace, and remind them that they are never alone. You have loosened my sackcloth and supported me with joy. Joy comes in the morning in order that my soul might sing to you. Let us all enrich, nourish, refresh our souls so that in our work on behalf of the New York City communities, we sing as a beautiful chorus of many different voices to you. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for that powerful, beautiful and enlightening prayer for our new year. At this time, I would like to ask Speaker Corey Johnson to spread the invocation onto the record. Uh, thank you, Madam Majority Leader. <clears throat> Rabbi Sharon Kleinbaum, as you said, serves as the spiritual leader of Congregation Bet Simcha Torah. She became CBST's first rabbi in 1992, arriving at the height of the AIDS crisis. Rabbi Kleinbaum guided the congregation through a period of loss and change while addressing social issues of the day and building a strong and deeply spiritual community. Her, under her leadership, the congregation has become a powerful voice in the movement for equality and justice for people of all sexual orientations, gender identities, and expressions. She recently co-founded the New York Jewish Agenda, an organization concentrating on local issues such as bail reform, criminal justice, and anti-Semitism. Uh, Rabbi, Kle Rabbi Kleinbaum has always had the courage of her convictions and has been repeatedly arrested and jailed for her beliefs, just like the late, great John Lewis. She was also hailed by the Huffington Post, Newsweek and the Forward, and the Jewish Week in their annual lists of most influential rabbis in the country. I have personally worked with uh, Rabbi Kleinbaum uh, for a long time. She is a source of genuine inspiration to me and so many in our community. I have been to her temple many times for Friday night services and was honored to participate the last few years for their pride Shabbat. Uh, through the highs and lows, 
Rabbi Kleinbaum and CBST are an integral part of my district on the west side of Manhattan and of the entire city of New York. Uh, Rabbi, thank you again for all that you do, especially during this past year. Thank you for being with us today as part of this uh, charter mandated charter meeting of the New York City Council. I wanna just tell you that I, uh, uh, can I see you on the screen here? I uh, can. I want to tell you I love you very much. Uh, you're you're such a wonderful friend and a great human being. Uh, you've really been there for me in in hard times, uh, and I'm so grateful that you're here today. And I look forward to when I can safely hug you uh, in the new year. So with that, uh, I would like to make a motion. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rabbi. I want to make a motion for unanimous consent to spread the invocation in full upon the record. Thank you so much, Speaker Cora Johnson. We will now have the adoption of minutes by Council Member Farrah Lewis. I make a motion that the minutes of the stated meeting of December 10th, 2020 be adopted as printed. Thank you so much, Council Member Lewis. We will now have messages and papers from the mayor. None. Communication from city, county and borough offices. M271, the certification of election of Kevin C. Wright. Congratulations, uh, council member. I'll talk a little bit more about you in a few minutes. Uh, that is received, ordered, printed, and filed, Mr. Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. M272 and M273, the resignations of council members Richie Torres and Andrew Cohen. Received, ordered, printed, and filed. Land use call-ups. M272 and M275. Thank you. At this time, I'm asking for the clerk to take a roll call vote on today's land use call-ups. Adam. I vote aye. Ampri Samuel. I vote aye. Ayala. I vote aye. Baron. I vote aye. Borelli. Come back. Uh, Brannon. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. Chin. I vote aye. Constantinidis. I vote aye. Cornegy. Vote aye. <coughs> Deutsch. Deutsch. Council member Deutsch. Sorry, aye. Thank you. Aye. Dharma. Thank you. Dharma Diaz. I vote aye. Ruben Diaz. Voto C. Drum. Aye. Eugene. I vote aye. Gibson. I vote aye. Jonai. Aye. Gordenchik. Aye. Holden. I vote aye. Kalos. Aye. Ku. Aye. Kozlowitz. Aye. Borelli. Aye. Thank you. Lander. Aye. Levin. Aye. Levine. I vote aye. Lewis. I vote aye. Mizell. Yes. Menchaca. I vote aye. Miller. Aye. 
Moya. Avorai. Perkins. Yo voto I. Powers. I. Reynoso. I. Riley. I vote I. Rivera. I. Rodriguez. I. Rose. I. Rosenthal. I. Salamanca. I vote I. Traeger. I. Ulrich. I vote I. Valone. I. Van Bramer. I vote I. Jaeger. I. Matteo. Yes. Combo. I vote I. Speaker Johnson. I vote I. Today's land use call ups have a vote of 47 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. <clears throat> Thank you. Today's land use call ups are adopted. We will now have communication from Speaker Corey Johnson. Uh, thank you, Madam Majority Leader. Good afternoon and a very happy Wednesday. Welcome to our 2021 charter meeting. I hope all of you had a wonderful holiday season and I look forward to working alongside all of you in the coming year for the city that we all love so much. We begin as we always do by remembering those who we have lost to COVID-19 as of yesterday. 25,309 New Yorkers have died from coronavirus. That number includes probable deaths. This figure includes so many of our first responders and frontline workers who throughout 2020 put their lives on the line for New Yorkers. We are eternally grateful for them and our thoughts are with the loved ones uh, of all of those who have passed. I want to acknowledge a few losses since our last meeting. The FDNY is mourning the loss of Evelyn Ford, one of our city's EMS members who passed away as a result of coronavirus on Tuesday, December 22nd. She was 58 years old and had been with the department for 27 years. Tragically, her death came the day before EMS members became eligible for the vaccine and it underscores the need to get this vaccine out as soon as possible. We also lost Barbara Jackson, a community leader who devoted her life to serving the people of Queens. She served as a district leader for the communities of East Elmhurst and Corona in Assembly District 35's Part B. Uh, I know Council Member uh, Moya's district since 1992, but her influence could be felt throughout the borough. She passed away on December 31st at the age of 78. And I am really, really sad to say that we are sending our condolences uh, to one of my longtime staffers, but a longtime staffer of, I think the past four speakers, uh, Phyllis Henderson, who recently <laughs> lost her husband, Mario Henderson. Uh, Phyllis, uh, Mario was a wonderful, wonderful man who was active in his church and loved his Friday night dates with Phyllis. I met him at City Hall multiple times when he came to pick her up at the end of the day. We know that he will be missed not only by Phyllis, but by their two sons and their many family members and friends. I wanna uh, just tell Phyllis that we are here for her. Uh, we love her. Uh, we are thinking of her. We're holding her in our hearts and in our hands. Uh, and I wish that I could give you a, a big hug, Phyllis. I think you're watching and I want you to know that all of us are grateful for you and that we love you. And I know this is an incredibly difficult time uh, for you and for your family. Um, so um, Phyllis, we love you and we're really sorry for the loss, the unexpected loss of Mario uh, during this really, really difficult time. I wanna take a moment of silence to honor the lives of Ms. Ford, Ms. Jackson, Mr. Henderson, 
as well as all of those that we have lost to COVID here in New York and all over the country and all over the world. Thank you. I also want to extend a special welcome to our newest colleague, Council Member Kevin Riley, at his first stated meeting since taking office. Uh, I won't go through his whole bio. You all will get to know Kevin in the days and weeks and months ahead over uh, this year, but he was born and raised in the Bronx. Uh, for the last decade, he has worked for a dear friend of mine, uh, Speaker of the Assembly and Assembly Member Carl Hasty. He started off as a constituent liaison and worked his way up to be Community Relations Director. Uh, he is just an active community uh, leader uh, before taking office as Council Member. He was uh, a leader in President Barack Obama's My Brother's Keeper initiative. Uh, and I think most importantly to him, he is a father to two beautiful daughters uh, Brooke and Kate. So I want to welcome him uh, today and tell you, Kevin, we look forward to working with you uh, for you to serve your district in the Bronx. And I'm really grateful that you're here today. I know you worked hard over the course of some cold months in a special election. So this was not an easy uh, path for you. And I want to welcome you here today. We look forward to working with you over these next few months. Uh, last but not least, as some of our colleagues have said, a very uh, happy Three Kings Day to those who are celebrating. And now on to our very short agenda today, as it always is for a charter meeting. The council will be voting on an item from our land use committee, 1501-1555, 60th Street rezoning in council member Kalman Yeager's district. It will facilitate the development of three mixed use buildings with 102 units of housing including 32 affordable units in ground floor retail. The council will be modifying the boundaries of the rezoning area. The council will also be voting on several changes to the membership and chairs of our standing committees and subcommittees. That is our agenda for today, that's it. Thank you to everyone for putting this meeting together to kick off our new legislative year. And with that, I turn it back to you, Madam Majority Leader. Thank you so much, Speaker Johnson. We will now move into discussion of general orders. We will recognize council members who wish to speak by using the raise hand function in Zoom. And we will only be discussing at this time the legislation that is currently before us that we are about to vote on. Um, please wait before you begin your remarks for our Sergeant at Arms to announce he has begun the countdown clock. The Sergeant at Arms will alert you when your time has expired. Mr. Parliamentarian, are there any council members registered to speak at this time? No, Madam Majority Leader. Okay, if there are no members that have uh, wished to sign up to speak at this time, we will go right into the report of special committees. None. Reports of standing committees. Report of the Committee on Rules, Privileges, and Elections, pre-considered Reso 1528, Council Committee Changes. Coupled on general orders. On the general order calendar, LU 705 and Reso 1530, and LU 706 and Reso 1531, 60th Street Rezoning. Coupled on general orders. And I would now ask the clerk to take a roll call vote on those items coupled on today's general order calendar. Adams. Thank you for keeping it short and sweet, Mr. Speaker. I vote aye on all. And please, Samuel. I vote aye on all. Ayala. Aye on all. Barron. I vote aye on all with the exception of L land use 705, 706 and the accompanying resolutions. Thank you. Thank you. Borelli. I vote aye, thank you. Brannon. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Cabrera. Aye. 
Shin. I don't know. Constantinides. I vote. I vote. Bye on all. Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you, sir. Carnegie. Um, I vote aye on all, but since there's no opportunity uh, to render these remarks, I'm asking to explain my vote. Permission granted. Time starts now. Today marks the beginning of my last year as the representative for Bed-Stuy and Crown Heights in this legislative body. The population of each of our districts is larger than some countries, and as a whole, we represent one of the largest, most influential, and most creative cities in the world. I want to acknowledge the contributions of three of my council members who left recently. Last month, former council member Donovan Richards became the Queensboro president. Queens is an amazing place and is universally known and acknowledged to be the second best borough in New York City, after Brooklyn, of course. Borough President Richards will enter the history books as the first African-American borough president of Queens and the most linguist in the most linguistically diverse spot on the planet. Council member Andrew Cohen, Andrew Cohen has represented Norwood at the ready, overseeing a robust constituent services department, regularly appearing at community meetings across the 11th council district and carrying himself with warmth and dedication. While understanding of the law is essential to being a judge, so is understanding humanity. Mr. Cohen now brings both of his new, to his new role as, new, as a Supreme Court judge. We'll all benefit from his wisdom and compassion. Council member Richie Torres has been showing that skill and determination are infinitely more important than stereotypes. He grew up in Throgsneck Public Housing Development, but that didn't slow him down from becoming the youngest ever member of New York City Council. Now he's moving to Congress at a time when we have new leadership in the White House. History will also forever mark that Richie Torres becomes the first gay Afro-Latino elected to Congress. This is a great moment for our country. I wish all, all three of my former colleagues the best of luck in their new positions at the end of 2021. Uh, most of my fellow council members will be leaving this body. I know we all have many goals we wanna accomplish, which makes for an incredibly optimistic year. We are empowered with the opportunity to serve the people of New York. I feel so blessed that I'm able to work with all of you in this noble task. Thank you and happy new year. Thank you. Deutsch. I know. Dharma Diaz. Hi. Muted, Council Member. I'm, I'm sorry, Council Member. Hey. Diaz said I. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ruben Diaz. Theodore. Drum. Aye. Eugene. I want to wish uh, a very blessed and happy new year to all my colleagues. And with this, I put aye. Gibson. I vote aye on all. Joan I. I on all. Gordon Chick. I and all, and I want to again welcome uh, Council Member Riley. Uh, he represents my mother's, where my mother grew up, so uh, Wallace and Burke. So, uh, very special place for me. Congratulations again. Thank you. Holden. I and all. Kalos. I and all. Ku. I don't know, and, and Happy New Year to all my colleagues. Kozlowitz. I I know all. Lander. I vote I. Levin. I vote I and all, and Councilor Kozlowitz, I love your new glasses. Thank Levine. you. Happy New Year. I, I vote I on all. Same old glasses. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Lewis. I vote aye on all. Mizella. Yes. Menchaca. I vote I vote aye on well actually I vote no on the land use item and I on the rest. Thank you. Thank you. Miller. Aye. Moya. I vote aye. Perkins.
Council Member Ver Perkins. Councilmember Perkins, I believe you're muted. We'll come back. Powers. Aye. Reynoso. Aye. Riley. Uh, to all my colleagues for the words of affirmation and the support, I really do truly appreciate it. And I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you. Rivera. I vote aye. Rodriguez. Yeah, before voting, I would like to encourage all my colleagues to also <clears throat> do whatever it is we have in our power to be sure that in this process of vaccination, we are vigilant to be sure that on the third community become top priority. Today, I stand together with Brooklyn Board President Eric Adams and Manhattan Board President to be sure that on the third community become top priority together with the first responder. So hopefully, you know, with the support of all of us, we can be able to the vaccination process bring more clarity and the city and the state elevate the level of coordination to be sure that we dedicate our first resolution to save life in 2021. With that, I vote aye. Amen. Rose. I am all. Rosenthal. With gratitude to the speaker for my new committee um, chairmanship, I really appreciate it. And with congratulations to Council Member Diaz uh, for her chair, chairship on uh, the Committee on Women and Gender Equity. Thank you for taking that committee over. I feel like it's in great hands. I vote aye and all. Salamanca. Traeger. Vote aye. Ulrich. I vote aye on all. Valone. You know, today we celebrate Three Kings Day, and it was the day that the three wise men were guided by a divine light in the sky. And I was just reflecting just last week, some say that same light reappeared in the sky. So let's hope as we start this year, that light pierces the dark of last year and gives us hope and wisdom for next year for all of us. There's much we have to do. So God bless everyone. I vote all I am, and happy new year. Thank you. Van Bramer. Aye. Jaeger. Aye. Councilmember Perkins. Otra vez, I on all. Thank you. Councilmember Salamanca. Matteo. Vote aye. Combo. I vote aye. Speaker Johnson. I vote aye. Okay. Today's general order calendar is as follows. Resolution 1528 has a vote of 46 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. And land use items 705 and 706 with their accompanying resolutions have a vote of 44 in the affirmative, two in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you. Thank you so much. The items on today's general orders calendar are adopted. Introduction and reading of bills. All bills have been referred to committees as indicated on today's agenda. 
Thank you, Speaker Johnson. There are no resolutions on today's calendar, so we will now move into general discussion. As a reminder, please wait until the Sergeant at Arms begins the countdown clock before you begin your remarks. Mr. Parliamentarian, are there any council members who wish to speak at this time? Yes, Madam Majority Leader. Council Member Barron. Council Member Barron. Time starts now. Uh, thank you. I just want to wish everyone a happy Three Kings Day. And I also want to wish uh, everyone the best in this new year. We know that we are still in the midst of COVID and we know that there is still uh, challenges ahead. In that regard, we do know that the healthcare professionals are the first line of defense. And we recently had a great victory in as much as those master's nursing students at Lehman who had previously been denied the opportunity to sit for their licensing exam have been victorious and they have been granted the opportunity to sit for that exam. And we know that that will increase the population of those nurses who are certified and working on the front lines. And in terms of the work that we have before us, I just want to say, I look forward to working with all of the council members and the leadership and the staff, because we've got a great challenge ahead of us to address what we have uh, been subjected to in this past 2020. And I look forward to working with all of you in that regard. And I'm excited about the prospects of what we can do during this council moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Parliamentarian. Are there any other members wish to sign up to speak at this time? Yes, Council Member Miller, followed by Council Member Salamanca. Council Member Miller, you may begin. Time starts now. Thank you, Madam Majority Leader. Uh, once again, I wanna just say uh, Happy New Year to all of my colleagues and all the New Yorkers that are listening this afternoon. Um, 2020 was a very trying time um, for so many reasons. Obviously, COVID-19 has impacted so many, particularly communities of color, and it continues to do so. During the same time period, um, our democracy was in question. And so we have uh, experienced the last year of, of uh, internal battles as we strove to, as uh, Senior Senator uh, Schumer likes to say, uh, it's a republic if you can keep it. Uh, well, I will say because of what has taken place in Georgia, we can keep this republic. I will also say that uh, as we strove to make sure that, that, that others strove to ensure that there were more participation in this democracy, particularly around diverse communities that um, we have demonstrated again in Georgia as we did in, in Philadelphia and in Milwaukee and in Detroit and in Arizona that we got this. And so as we move forward, look forward to working with each and every one of you uh, as uh, in, in the new year and the democracy has been preserved by uh, one who has uh, not always been a community that has not always been able to take full advantage of that democracy. So once again, look forward to working with each and each one of you in the upcoming year. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Miller. Now we will hear from Council Member Salamanca. Time starts Thank now. Thank you, Major uh, Madam Majority Leader. Um, I ask for unanimous consent to vote aye and all for the items on today's general orders calendar. Council members, are there any objections to Council Member Salamanca's motion for unanimous consent? I, I see no objections. Unanimous consent has been granted. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Speaker. Uh, I vote aye on all, thank you. Thank you, are there any other members who wish to speak at this time? Yes, Council Member Levin. Thank you very much. Time Madam starts Madam now. Majority. Thank you very much, Madam Majority Leader. Um, I just want to um, thank all of my colleagues. I want to thank the speaker um, and majority leader and uh, the entire staff for putting together this uh, charter stated meeting. Um, and I am I'm very hopeful today. This is the first stated meeting of uh, the final year uh, for me and many of my colleagues here in the council. And um, uh, I, just, I was inspired by hearing some of my colleagues to say, 
that to the public, to the to anyone that's watching right now, any New Yorkers that are watching right now, um, you have you have our commitment that we're going to do everything that we can mm -hmm. as a body, as a legislative body, mm -hmm. in the next year to fulfill um, commitments that that we have made, mm -hmm. um, uh, promises that we have made, um, and uh, and our duty and role as a, as the legislature of this city to make New Yorkers lives better to the best of our ability and um, and to make a meaningful impact uh, in the life of this city and so uh, you can rest assured uh, and feel assured that we are going to do everything that we can um, and, uh, and 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 spare no effort um, in the coming year. And I, I wish you all very well in, in this new year. Thank you. Thank you so much, Council Member Levin, for your very timely words. Very well said. Are there any other members who wish to speak at this time? Yes, Council Member Gibson. Council Member Gibson. Time starts now. Thank you so much, Madam Majority Leader, and good afternoon, Speaker, and all my colleagues. Again, um, a blessed, happy holiday. Uh, season. I'm grateful that we have completed the holiday season and I wish all of you a happy new year. Um, and I want to thank you, Mr. Speaker, for your confidence in me and leading a new committee in this body of the city council. I look forward to working with all of my colleagues now in my new capacity. And I want to join other colleagues that have spoken up about the year ahead, uh, the challenges that we faced in 2020 the lives that we've lost, our family members, friends, and neighbors that have lost their battle to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we have a purpose this year. Many of us are leaving at the end of this year and we have our charging orders. Uh, there is a momentum across this country to reclaim our democracy and I'm excited about that. I often think about Psalms 30 uh, that says, Weeping may endure for the night, but joy will come in the morning. And we are on the cusp of joy in this country and we are a part of this. And so I welcome again, our colleague from the Bronx council member, Kevin Riley, and really making sure that we are optimistic about the year ahead. Uh, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, we have to deal with food insecurity. I've never seen so many people on food pantry lines in the last several months. It has been heartbreaking. We still continue to live with the plague of gun violence in many of our communities. Uh, just two weeks ago, I mourned the loss of a 16-year-old young man in my district and worked with this family as they mourned this loved one and buried him. And 16 years old is certainly not acceptable and not normal. So we do have a lot of work to do. So I want to thank you again, Mr. Speaker, for your confidence in my leadership chairing the new committee. And congratulations to all of the members that have new committees, particularly my sisters in the Women's Caucus. I look forward to working with all of you in this body uh, during this year ahead. Happy New Year to Time each and every blessed. one of you. God bless you. Thank you. Parliamentarian, are there any other members who wish to speak? No, Madam Majority Leader. With that being said, I want to wish Council Member Carlina Rivera a very happy birthday. Um, <laughs> And I also want to, you know, just close out by saying, I want to applaud this entire body, particularly Speaker Corey Johnson for uh, leading us through a very difficult and challenging time by getting these meetings up virtually so that we could continue the people's business and continuing to work to make sure that we pass a budget, that we continue to pass legislation and that we continue to do the people's work. I know many members are mourning the loss of family members of mothers, of dads. Uh, many of you have had COVID yourselves and I can only imagine how frightening that experience has been. So this body has been certainly battle tested. And as Council Member Levin said, we're gonna continue to do the people's work. We're gonna continue to move this city forward. And we thank you so much, Speaker Johnson for your leadership. And with that, I turn this meeting over uh, to be closed by Speaker Corey Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Majority Leader. The charter meeting of January 6, 2021 is hereby adjourned. Happy New Year.